Okay, so I previously did a video about setting up a MKS Gen L 8-bit board, but apparently um, I didn't do it correctly, plus there's a few extra things that I discovered along the way that were causing problems, so obviously I had to fix them. I had this board set up on a previous printer on Marlin 1.1.6, and that was working perfectly, but 1.1.9 I had several problems along the way so basically my board is running TMC2100 uh, stepper drivers and uh, LV8729 on the extruder and I'm using the uh, RepRap full discount full graphics smart controller however you say that uh, one, 12864 LCD the blue one so let's go through the configuration H and I'll go into um, some settings as we go first of all you want to check that you want to check the chip on your board is an Arduino Mega 2560 set this here and also the processor here uh, when you've got your um, printer plugged in make sure the port is correct and that should be the settings there. You also need to manage libraries. You need to add in U8 glib so you can search that on here and then here you can install it. Obviously you can select a version here and then click install and it'll install the one you chose. And then you close that so that's that ready. Then we go into configuration H and we scroll down um, my board rate was set to 25,000 or 20 well that anyway um, my board is MKS Gen L you have to put motherboard here and then board MKS Gen L or you can check the boards.h file and you can put a number here instead you can name your printer if you want this goes on the home screen when the uh, screen is loaded at the bottom. Uh, define how many extruders, one in my case, the filament diameter 1.75. And we scroll down some more. I didn't touch any of these values, so this, this didn't apply. Uh, the I think the only thing I changed here was the uh, temp sensor to 3 here and um, I think the bed one as well to 3 I think it's um, 100k 4.7 uh, 4.7 yeah I think I think it's I think it's that one anyway but that setting works for me anyway um, bear in mind I'm using a 220 volt uh, silicone heated bed and um, my extruder is a BMG style all metal uh, without a V6 hot end um, so we'll go into that a bit later right so as we go down um, I didn't set the PID settings in the firmware because I did that with Prontoface afterwards so I didn't touch any of that um, as we go down thermal runaway protection this is on at default you shouldn't turn this off because it's um safety feature and uh, the thing is if, if your printer's doing thermal runaway or failing, heating failed then you've got a problem with your printer so you need to sort that out I use um the X min end stop plugs on the um, controller board so uh, the end stop plugs uh, the minimum is marked as minus the maximum is marked as plus and I didn't need to adjust this inverting the end stops I didn't need to adjust it but if you have any problems you can change these values to true to see if it fixes your problems but you would only, if you're using the min end stops, you would only change the first three. But if you're using the max end stops, you'd 
changed a lot. Right, so scrolling down, I define my drivers TMC2100, so next YZ, also on um, extruder 1, which I'm not actually using at the moment. I'm actually just using this one, so it's defined as LV 8729. As we go down, we've got movement settings, you need 80, 80 and for my type of extruder as I said it's a BMG style um, all metal it's got a 3 to 1 gear um, I bought it from uh, Mellow Store on Aliexpress if you want to uh, find it there if you need a link ask me and I'll, I'll send you a link for it um, I'm told 410 is what I need for that but I haven't tried it yet but this is from someone who has the same one you said that work. Default max feed rates 200 and 200 here. Um, again I haven't tested that yet but it was recommended to me. Max acceleration these are all default. All this is default. Um, I'm using um, the Z end stop as my for my bed leveling so I've just set this here. Um, you can obviously set um, different probes and everything here but I, I'm i not using that so if you need that information you have to find it somewhere else so as we go down all this is I didn't set any of this right so we come to the bed size mine is 250 by 250 and if you've got a non-standard bed size or you're building like a custom printer and you put the end stops in a different place or something then you're going to need these settings here let me tell you how you work this so when you home your printer and you want to um, you need to define where the bed is from the nozzle so the position of the end stop is zero and then what you do is measure how far from the um, when when the end stops are all homed on the X you measure how far the nozzle is um, to the right of the nozzle you have your bed so you measure between your nozzle and your bed and um, you're measuring just one measurement straight across I realize that the bed will be backwards but y you basically have to measure the measurements between the middle of the nozzle to the edge of the bed basically because the um, position you're trying to measure to is the front left corner um, this is on the i3 style printer similar to ANA A8, AM8 etc etc so yours may vary so the the important point on this type of printer is the front left corner of the bed so as I say I measured from uh, my nozzle to the corner the in line with the corner of the bed which was for me 102 so I the value is a minus value so I put minus 102 so next what you need to measure is the distance between the nozzle and the front face of the bed you might find this easier to move your extruder over to maybe the middle of the uh, carriage and you need your um, you need your Y end stop home into the back and then you measure from your nozzle to the front face of the um, bed so that distance for me is uh, minus 3 the reason for that for my printer is because my end stop isn't in the usual place, place on this type of printer so my bed doesn't go off the back end of the printer my end stop is on top of the base of the frame 
so it hits the um, end stop sooner so my value is only three millimeters but if your end stop is in the usual place on this type of printer then your value is going to be quite a bit higher than this your Z position is zero which it should always be zero if you're using the end stop like I am then that's f that's set to zero but if you're using a bed probe I'm not sure what you do there then this bit Z max position is your Z height I it took me a while to work out that that was the Z height I would have thought that it might have been in this section under here but it's not it's here my Z height max position is 270 so I've obviously set that there so as we go down I haven't touched any of this uh, bed leveling I won't go into that because I haven't touched any of that uh, unified bed leveling either mesh bed leveling not touched any of that either um, so now we go to EEPROM settings uh, define EEPROM settings this is um, so you can um, save settings um, like if you use Prontoface or something you can use these commands to save the settings um, you should define EEPROM chit chat as well um, this stuff I didn't touch uh, this you can set yourself this first set is um, the PLA settings so you can if you use a regular setting for PLA you can change this setting so that um, when you preheat PLA it's to a setting that you normally use rather than the default so you can set that and this one is for ABS you can obviously change this as well to whatever you want um, your fan speed I believe that is the um, the cooling part cooling fan I think or or maybe yeah I think it's a part cooling fan I, I'm not 100% on that but okay uh, nozzle park I didn't touch any of that I didn't touch any of the nozzle clean uh, print time mode to start I think that's set as default uh, LCD define language English you obviously can set your own language um, character set is set to Japanese not sure why but you can change that if you wish uh, define SD support I use the uh, 12864 LCD which has the SD on it so that needs to be defined uh, you might need to set some of these settings if you have a pro problem with the SD card stuff um, some of the settings here you don't necessarily have to touch them right so this comes to some problems I had with the 12864 LCD um, previously the encoder was backwards and the when you use the encoder it was not moving fluidly so these settings do fix the problem uh, encoder pulses set per step for uh, encoder steps per menu item is one so every one click that's uh, moves to a menu item uh, reverse coder direction before I used to have um, encoder reverse uh, you had to mess about with some setting somewhere else on early Marlin versions but it's made a lot easier here you just reverse the encoder direction I defined individ individual access home in menu here because I like to have that especially when you're first setting up the printer you want to check that each axis homes individually rather than auto home so this is very handy um, I didn't touch anything for the speaker because it's a buzzer and defining the type of um, LCD is here somewhere I think it's further down yeah this is the one I have define rep wrap discount full graphics smart controller um, 
you, I would start with just this setting but if you have a problem with artifacts on your display there's a few things you can do here um, this is the setting that worked for me but you can also um, the best thing to start off with is having one here number one here and in these brackets have a zero try that if you have an artifacts if that doesn't work then you need to change this to a two and then this to 128 try that see if that works if that doesn't work you can try another setting two again the same and in the brackets 200 one of these three settings should work for you if you've got problems with artifacts and I think that's all the settings let me just double check yep I think yep that's all the settings I used so that should get you going if you've got a MKS Gen L um, using the 12864 LCD um, it, it should work with uh, other other stepper drivers like TMC 2208 etc you know you can you can probably use most of this information on that but yeah, there you go. This sh this should help you setting up this board with uh, with this type of LCD.